Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Friday evening. We've got our live stream coming up at 9 o'clock Eastern. Hope you guys join in. The sports entertainment world was shook up a little bit, of course, with the news that Skip and Shan- Skip, Skip, Skip and Shannon Sharp are breaking up. That Shannon Sharp was buying out of his contract and leaving Skip Bayless. The thing that's interesting is, or at least in my point of view, um, and I could be one hundred percent wrong, um, is thinking about where we are with Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless, I think what it all boils down to comes down to one thing, and that is jealousy. I think with Shannon Sharp's profile growing and kind of leaving Skip Bayless behind, there's jealousy and animosity. Skip Bayless likes to be the center of the universe, the center of the attraction, the guy. And when Scan and Sharp first started out with him, after, of course, Skip Bayless wanting to get away from working with Stephen A. Smith, Stephen A. Smith, when he started, was not that big a star. Of course, Skip Bayless was originally the draw. Stephen A. Smith star started shining brightly. And that's where Skip Bayless ended up starting over. With the Shannon Sharp. And Shannon Sharp is kind of like the same progression that happened with, of course, Stephen A. Smith. And you can see that Skip Bayless, you know, when you think about what Shannon Sharp has been able to do beyond just undisputed with Shea Shea, um, seeing him out on his own doing really, really well. Because let's be clear here, sports entertainment is evolving or devolving or however you want to look at it. The fact that somebody in their basement and people from their mama's basement are now getting views and taking up some of the blogosphere that used to be exclusively guys like Skip Bayless. That used to, of course, cover the Cowboys and the writer and everything else, highly respected. You see a kicker like um, Pat McAfee get offered millions of dollars to come to ESPN. And you see what Skip Bayless is doing is watering down. And you've seen Skip Bayless doing his podcast, and it's not very good. It's not very good at all. When you saw Shannon Sharp taking time off because of what happened and transpired between him and Skip Bayless, Skip Bayless was not watchable. Skip Bayless has a tendency to go after others and throw people under the bus. And at some point, people get tired of it. Now, if you are a new guy out there and you haven't got the recognition or the following, you, of course, go along with that because, of course, you just want to keep your job. But people discover, I, you know, as, as, my, as people will sometimes say, I can do bad by myself. And that's where you are with Shannon Sharp. Now, here's what's interesting is... Um, Stephen A. is kind of playing both sides of the fence, but is kind of inviting Shannon Sharp his way. Let's just listen for a few moments here. Shannon Sharp is leaving FS1. Do I have an idea of what happened? I'm Stephen A. You're damn right I do. Do I know for certain? No, I do not. If I knew for certain, would I tell you? Hell no, without their permission. Because Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp could be at FS1, at least for the moment in the case of Shannon Sharp. I've gotten to know Shannon Sharp a little bit over the last few years. Mm -hmm. I genuinely like him and respect him. 
He is a three-time Super Bowl champion. He is a Hall of Famer. He is one of the greatest tight ends in the history of the National Football League. Mm -hmm. And I personally think he's done a hell of a job on television and with his podcast club, Shay Shay. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I'm going to be a guest on in the near future. And he's also going to be a guest on here in the near future. Mm -hmm. Poaching. Poaching. But I sincerely hope, regardless of what opinions I'm about to give, that y'all don't make the mistake of assuming that I'm going to speak against my man Skip Bayless. That is not going to happen. Skip Bayless and I have disagreed on many things. On the air and off the air. Mm -hmm. We're natural born contrarians with one another. We don't mm -hmm. think alike. We don't act alike. We don't like the same things. We don't vibe with each other in terms of our ideas and our belief system. But you remember when I told you that I was the star of the number one sports morning show for the last 11 and a half years? Mm -hmm. The first four years of that was with Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. But she continued without Skip Bayless. So position, what does that say? If it were not for Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless asked me to come on first take. Skip Bayless permitted me to come on first take. Skip Bayless fought for me to come on first take. Skip Bayless played a role in restoring my career that I felt had wrongly been taken from me. I will never disrespect him. Okay. It will not happen. But I will go ahead never. and, you know, talk with Skip. That Shannon. doesn't mean I can't disagree with him. Mm-hmm. This is not one of those times because I don't know what happened to tell you why I agree or disagree. Here's what I can tell you. When news was announced that Shannon Sharp had been bought out of FS1 and he would be leaving at the conclusion of the NBA Finals, mm -hmm. there were two things that came to my mind. That's a big loss. For the show Undisputed. Mm-hmm. A huge. Because Shannon matters. Skill. And that I don't know what his plans are. I don't know what he's trying to pursue. I don't know what he's after. But if Shannon Sharp needs me, I'm happy to be here for him. And if that included him wanting to come on first take, the bosses at ESPN know that is something I would support. Not every day. Kind of like, my, like Michael Irvin? But one of those days every week? Yeah. And why do I say not every day? Because you need to understand something. I apologize for this to no one. I love me some Michael Irvin. That's my brother. The playmaker. Mm-hmm. And I understand he got himself embroiled in some situation, and I have no clue what that, what's going to happen with that. That is above mm -hmm. my pay grade. Whatever they discover, they discover. Remember, I get to handpick who's on first take once they're in-house for ESPN. Mm -hmm. I don't get to bring them from the outside in without the bosses okay. We have to be honest. I'm not the boss. That's Dave Roberts. That's Jimmy Pitaro. That's there you go. He doesn't want to replace Michael Irvin, but he would certainly like to bring in Shannon Sharp. Stay tuned, because that's an invitation for Shannon Sharp to be a regular, much in the way Michael Irvin is. I don't know if Michael Irvin will ever get back to First Take or NFL Network. We should actually expect to hear something um, actually within the, about the next week because um, by the Arizona laws from the last change in petition, which was, I want to say, April 28th or something like that, they have to have a pre-trial meeting within 30 days and within two weeks of that have actually another court hearing. So by the 13th, I think it is, something has to happen to set up actually a true trial. 
in that case. So we'll find out maybe before football season if we will ever see Michael Irvin back on. But then again, even if he wins the lawsuit, there's no guarantee that that is going to get him back on First Take or NFL Network. It's a tangled web out there, people. We'll have more to say about this later. I appreciate you. Peace.